I have a degree in computer science, which I took in JQuot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where we got to first interact with the tech expo team and get to know uh, what they do and apply for the competition. Uh, yes, basically, well, tech expo is really nice and polite for us. It was an awesome experience, uh, simply because it was something outside our, our comfort zone. Before that, me and BD we got to just doing apps. Shamkoda, he's a business guy, let's just make apps make money. We had a debate whether we wanted to actually enroll ourselves in the expo or continue just with what we were doing to simply making this up and looking at clients without having to enroll in any competition. But the expo, when you're, when you're doing the expo and you're with other competitors, you get to hear what other people are thinking. You get to see other perspectives in, in what other people are doing and you get to put your stuff against other people's stuff and see generally how how do people think of what you are doing. You get some sort of validation and some correction and some some insight. I met them through uh, our CEO, Henry. And I'm sure that he told the guys told you, the team told you how they met him. And that's how I met the team, and then they came in, uh, they came in uh, part of the team. Yeah, basically that's how it started. We started back in, in uh, I was in second year, so I can say that's back in uh, 2010. Is when we actually now began doing this as a team. In general, the, the level of innovation among young people is higher here than at home, I, I find. Uh, people living in the, develop, in the developed world, or in Denmark, for example, um, they tend to be very comfortable in their setting. You know, they... It, it, everything is more or less taken care of for them, whereas a person, a young person in Kenya might be doing something which is super evident for that person to, to do and they, you know, uh, start a business as an example, as, as we're discussing. Um, then the, the perception of risk for that person in Kenya is fundamentally different from, from, from the, 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 the risk perception of the person in Denmark. So, that being said, and, and those being the conditions, um, that creates simply a higher level of innovation here. Challenging experiences was uh, some market trends last year were very tough in that you have to have tough skin when you're on your because you simply were doing door to door. In Gideon Hunt, once to walk from down to junction, walk to look for customers and walk back, and we were with him. Him and Brian would do market rounds and get shut down. Like out of 20 doctors you see, only one considers to give you, you know, such stuff. Since you're dealing with clinics and one-to-one business, and uh, being told no, being told uh, uh, come, I'd say it was a challenge because every day you have to convince yourself why you're doing it. This hardening, especially if you have something you believe in, but if you, if, if you just stick there long enough, and whatever you're doing, you have validated it, and it's just a matter of time. Uh, put it very simply, take it from your computer, expose it. Um, there's an idea, I think uh, we were a victim of this at some point, where you just feel you want to keep your idea within your laptop, because it's so awesome. <laughs> uh, take your idea, <laughs> uh, forget about all this halabad about uh, intellectual property. And then, if it's going to make money, everyone has to know about it. So take the first step, take it out there. And I think Tech Expo is, is a very good platform for the very new ideas to be, to be sort of like a sample and, and, and feedback cotton from external parties. Yeah. Don't be fooled about the romantic ideas of being an, an, an entrepreneur. It requires, if you think you're working hard and if you think it requires a lot of hard work, then you probably have only realized that half the amount that it'll take. 
uh, that's one thing. And then um, just believe in your idea. If they have an idea and they believe in it, they shouldn't worry about how they will do it. You shouldn't worry about the how. You should just be concerned that you have the idea and just follow it. One thing we took from the expo is that uh, in whatever we were doing, it's always important to listen and learn from external parties. Because for us, the expo is what validated what we, what we were doing, what we thought was right, is a big what is actually right. And it's from the expo we got the views of other users and other people who had not thought of an idea like ours, but they come tell us, yeah, this is a good idea. I especially love this, this and this. So the expo is very good, honest feedback for what we were doing. So yeah, that's what we did.